depends on their long-term goals really because if you sell your property and you take their cash and you're out of the market you may miss the opportunity to get back in at the same price. Rental does give you obviously an income, you have tax to pay so you have to bear that in mind but it gives you an income and it allows you to hold the property and, and get capital growth over the long term. But renting does come with its own problems. You've got to deal with tenants, management. Often these things are not things you take into account when you look at the returns. Um, personally, if it's a property that you don't need, but it's you, you own it, it's better to hold it and rent it. It's an investment. I would always hold on to property. In fact, I wish I'd held on to all seven things I'd ever, I've ever owned. If they don't need to sell a property, I would say depends on their scenario. I appreciate they do not need to sell, but if they are have been living in the property and they're not going to be liable for capital gains, then obviously it, it's a good good time to sell because you'll get the full amount back. But obviously holding property in London, if you're able to do that, then it, it's a given. It depends where it is and also what your life plans are and whether you need the money out. But actually, in central London now, if I had a property, and I shoot myself in the foot by saying this, if I had a property um, that I was considering selling but I didn't need to, I would probably hang on to it and rent it out um, and, and also perhaps take some borrowing against it as well so as to maximise the return. It's entirely determined about, about what, you want, what you want it for. Do you want, do you want a yield? I, I personally wouldn't sell anything unless I had to. What are you going to use the money for? You know, if you can get a better return, if you're only yield driven, then, then you're going to get a very weak yield, but you, you probably get quite a good capital return. It depends on the period of time you're talking about fundamentally. Renting is, uh, it's not what it appears on the tin, is it? Because your rental agent comes in and says, oh, you get £3,000 a week for this. But then there's the rental agent's fees, and then there's a small matter of, uh, of the taxation on the property, so what you actually get is actually not amazing. Um, but I suppose what you do get is you get what's not amazing, which is the net rental income plus the potential for capital growth. So, you know, it, unless you are a whiz investor in, in other things, then property is probably over, over a long period of time, probably probably not bad. Not, it's not, never gonna be staggering, but it's safer.